this year some jelly. They are not ready yet, so they may know when you, when you want to cook. So yes, so now we have some coconut to go on dry. So this is a bottle of the finished product. Raw cold press coconut oil. So my favorite is part of living in Jamaica or my favorite is part about Jamaica is Jamaican people and whenever I touch the road I learn so much from just your everyday Jamaican I do what them do see things where you oftentimes take for granted that I don't even think twice about things where you go to a restaurant go enjoy things where you go to a supermarket you go buy you go you get to look at street food but you never really stop if you look behind the scenes in another video here we are going to drive to a small town right on the outskirts of Negril named Sheffield and in today's video we are going to show you the process in making homemade coconut oil you know so we love road trip and me just me, me love road trip because me learn so much me just you know things where you know that that, that vibe there. I mean, me don't love vibe with the Jamaican them, cause them they are usually the kindest, sweetest people. And if them not like you, you are gonna know from your God and get gonna say please hold dog. You are gonna know, and Jamaicans deal with you the way you deal with them. So the energy where you put out are the energy where them give back. See? So jump in the car, come on, make you drive go to Sheffield, and make you go learn how to make homemade granny style coconut oil and you know say nothing to make your ackee and soft it tastes good or smell better that way they use so real old homemade coconut oil and cookie yo and you eat all too dumping with that and me fit tell you so jump in the car and come on we are going to make coconut oil Jamaica and cut road trip and we are going to Sheffield and we are going to make coconut oil forward Please remember to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Do remember to hit the like button and please share and leave a comment as we travel around Jamaica and bring you nothing but real, real Jamaican vibes. So this is a step and now we are chop out the coconut yeah. or a barky and people they, they, they bark people them use it for catch wood fire or light smoke and run a mosquito what is they use here though? oh you plant flowers now it there's a man a ochi who uses it to make bird okay so this are the coconut and now and then traditionally we, we break the coconut and drink the water See? Inside, right, all right. So we're gonna go to the next step now. We're gonna dig out the coconut here now. Right. <laughs> Wash off your heart. Yeah. My least favorite part is to actually dig out the coconut. <laughs> May have the scar if we prove it. Boss come well prepared. Yes. 
Yeah, me not think none of we like that part there. All right, cool, simple. So yeah, so this is the digging out of the coconut. All right, people, Jamaica Uncut on today with the uh, Rocky Hill. Me get it right? Rocky Hill, Sheffield, and Sheffield is right outside of Negril. And today we come to check the lady, June. Where are you with June? Not much. See? And today, June, I'm going to walk with you the steps of making coconut oil. Yeah. What do you call this process? Cold press? Yes. Cold press coconut oil. Yeah. How long do you make coconut oil? I'm about three, three, four years ago. Four years. Mm -hmm. Where did you get it from? Why did you decide to start making coconut oil? Um, a friend of mine was doing the almond. Uh -huh. And then he migrated. Okay. So he introduced me to the way I make the coconut oil and stuff like that. So I start off with a small machine mm -hmm. and then we move to a bigger one. Well, who you learn it from? Who taught you how to do it? Well, actually, we start as we tell the person, mm -hmm. the almond. And then we start do little and try it and go on YouTube and Google and see what, what and what and what. And okay. Move from there. And how much, how much oil can you make in a one batch? Alright. At this time, we have 100 coconut. Okay. The half oil coconut may give you more oil. A smoother oil. The bone dry one gives you less. Okay. So, like, we have the half oil coconut. Now, we will get up to six bottles out of this. If they bone dry, we will get four bottles okay. out of this. So, 100 coconut give you up to mm -hmm. four bottles. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Yes. All right, so walk us through the steps of making the coconut oil. We already see the, the, the out chopping out of the coconut, the digging out, the drinking of the water. Right. Walk us through that, the other steps now. After me do that first step, we wash them. Mm -hmm. After me wash them now, we put them out here for five, six days to dry. Why do you put them out to dry? Because um, that's how the oil comes together. Ah. Because now it's um, like milk. Okay. Right, so after that now, after they stay five, six days, you can see the oil in them. You can squeeze it and see the oil. So do you take it up at night or you just... You can, you take them up at evening time. Okay, yeah. and then put them up back next morning for mm -hmm. six days. Mm -hmm. And then after that now, we cut them up smaller. Like okay. when we reach like four days time, we cut them up small, smaller, smaller. Okay. And make them dry better. So that they can go through the machine easy. Alright, cool. So this, mm -hmm. this is the drying stage right. where you put them out of sun yes. on a zinc sheet yes. and them dry for six right. days. Mm -hmm. And then after six days, we yes. come back and go to the next step. Yes. See? Yeah, All right, June. So we're going to let them make them dry. And then in a six day time, we're going to circle your back. No problem. See? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Blessed love. No problem. All right. Cool. Yeah, Why is that? Sometimes you do way more than this? Mm, yeah, this is a small amount. What is the most amount of coconut you ever have to cut out? Three, four hundred. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of chopping, digging, picking, cutting. What do you do with the water usually? Sometimes it, then we drink the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it shows the water. Depends on how fast the person is going in. Just oh, just that's right, kind of on time for it. Mm -hmm. So you know, just pour it in one jug or something up in there. Yeah, fridge. sometimes we do that. Okay. Mm. All right, cool. Yeah, man. Mm. What role do you play? What's your position today? It's spinach. <laughs> what do you do today? Eat spinach. Yeah, eat spinach. I just had drive around with me and now I'm here for dinner. You have here for dinner tonight? Jamaica and Scott's so far So this is day number five. Oh, so you cut them up already? Yes. Okay, alright, cool. So, all right, people, this is the barking station. And what him do, him just take up the coconut and jam it onto the picker. Right there, so. And just bark them out quick and fast. So, she said, by the time you blink, you would have done bark off all of them already. And these put them for dry. So, once them are dry now, she dig them out, put them out in the sun to get hard, like the sun kind of suck them out almost. So you can go through the machine and the machine basically just squeeze the oil from the coconut. And this here are some jelly. They are not ready yet. So they may know when you, when you want a coconut to drink, you just pick one of them and go and suck it out quick and fast and quench your thirst. 
wash off your heart and them thing there. Yeah. Alright, so she's gonna show us the process of how them bark the coconut. Okay, so you just put it on it and rock it like this. Mm -hmm. But in, you can do it like how you do it. So when you rock it down, you just. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm bossy, yeah. Okay, Basically. Right. Mm -hmm. So, June. Yeah, man. Not only you do coconut oil, you're also a farmer. Yes. Come realize so you have a little garden, you plant, your lettuce, you raise animal and them yes, kind of thing there. Yes, yes, yes. See? Yes, man, they have a little thing. Alright, nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So now some breadfruit are going to roast up the people, <laughs> so we are going to go and check out the breadfruit. <laughs> Turn it on now. Mm -hmm. No, I fire too high for no number. No. Okay. So coming out okay all the way. So this is day five, and the coconut them dry you now, and yeah, squeeze the oil tight. So walk us through this up step you now. Okay. Coconut them dry, ready. So you just run them through the machine and you get the pure oil. Put it down for an next three, four days, make it settle down and then you throw it off and you're good to go. And the next thing about it, the oil is not only for cooking, for your skin, health purposes, for your hair, any other thing you want to do. Okay. Alright. So because a natural coconut oil, you can basically use it for anything at all. Anything. You can drink a spoonful of morning time. And what else you do? Hmm? When you drink a spoonful now, what does that help you with? Like if you're, um, if you're constipated and everything like that, it help clean you out and stuff like that. Okay. Um, you have some people then bite, they say they use it for their gum and then it's good for um, keep your teeth healthy and stuff like that. You okay. have one special person who bite just for that. You just dabble it a morning time and say, I'm We have people who say, I'm doctor, so you just that them to use and come straight from doctor, straight here. Wow. And buy their oil, yeah? You can do your vegetables, you can just sprinkle a little on it. Your rice and peas, you sprinkle it the same way. A lot of stuff you can do with it. If you have coal, you drink some same way. A lot of health benefits. For you. Your skin, you use it on your skin, in your hair, all over. So, not just for boiling. Tell me now. Tell me this, 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 how long is the process? Um, you have to have patience, you know, you can't say. The process, it take a little, you have to love it to do it. Because there are a lot of people then come and they say, they come do this. We start, the first me, and about this machine we have in it was the manual, we use the hand and spin, and then we use move to this one. So, like for the whole day, you know, we do three bottles. Oh, you're serious after the entire day, you only yeah, get three man. bottles? Three bottles, three to four bottles. It depends on how long we come down here and how long we plan to spin, to spend down here. And you get three to four bottles. So when the trash come out now, where you the trash you do? Feed the birds, feed the fowls, that basically ducks, people take the to feed the animals. Okay. Animals. Yeah. Ducks, pigs, birds, whatever. And you can only feed through that one little piece at a time? At a time. Wow. Yeah, so you have to have patience. You have to love to do it. And it basically just squeeze the oil squeeze from the, the coconut. Oil. See? See oil coming out. The oil will come out. Just squeeze it out. But the coconut, them, as we said, they have to dry. Once they dry, straight oil. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's the little tip of oil that come out just at that time. Yeah, yeah. Now when this full, this is one bottle when it's full. Oh, so when that pan full is just one bottle? A one bottle. Like a rum bottle? Yes, 750. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. But you have to love this thing. I take patience. Alright people, so with the a Sheffield, a Rocky Hill specifically, and with there with June, and June makes cold pressed coconut oil and she's been doing it now for about four years. And she started because she saw a friend making almond oil. And you decide so you want to do the coconut version of yeah, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So have you ever tried the the grated and boiled version of coconut oil? No. no, no, 
no, no, no. Because the, the main thing when a lot of, when people buy from me, they ask me if, it, if it's boiled or it's um, fresh. Because they say they don't want the boiled one. So you find that the the fresh one is a more pure version of coconut oil? Yes, yes, yes. More pure. Okay. And it's str they say it's stronger. Okay, you can smell it for yourself. Yeah, they say when you boil it, you kind of get some of the you element. Need some of the element. Yeah, yeah. You need okay, you kind of. And then I add nothing to it because sometimes people ask me if you add salt because people want it to use when they're here. And if salt in it, they're not going to use it. You don't add nothing. Okay. Nothing, just love. Just love. Just love. Yeah. Love. yeah. All right, please. So, we are going to take in the, the process. So, earlier we showed you the barking of the coconut while she puts out the dry, cut it up. I know she has pressed the oil mm -hmm. from the coconut and she said it's trash. Well, show them the trash. Show them the part of the trash there. So that's how the trash gets up easily. Yeah. And that used to feed your animal. Your yeah. bird, your fowl, your whatever. Pigs. Pigs. Yeah. 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 Alright, cool. So we are going to wait until she squeezes enough to make one bottle so you can see what it looks like in our bottle. That's the one lady went by for me. She just buy it to smell it. That's why she has to do it. For real? For real. Just... People, let me explain something to you. Know. <laughs> the aroma from the coconut oil is so good. <laughs> like you that just drink it. Yeah, it smells drink. so nice. You can drink. You just imagine this now your rice and peas. How your rice and peas taste good. We're going to season it up well nice. So good. So you just put the spoon there for what reason? Yes, it's some kind of trash all over. So oh, you know, like so you just kind of yeah, keep like it from drop down in the head? Yes, I like the meat from the dust. Okay, see. Mm. So you have to strain it after you're done you now again? Ah, uh, mm-mm. Oh, you know. You put it on like a second. And then you just come out. And you just throw it out. And what yeah. left, what you do with the bottom? Well, let me just um throw it out. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Because I just trash, you know? Basically okay. trash. That um. Uh, Can't do nothing? No. So in a fairness, at the end of the day, it worth it or just because you love it so much? It worth it, yes. Because if you have to buy 400 coconuts mm. to get four bottles of oil. No, man. 100. 100 give you four bottles? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. right. Cool. But that means that's still a lot of coconut. If you back one coconut, hard. Not that hard, you know. That's you back one coconut? Mm -hmm. Well, that that's why I had to you, but as me tell you, say the person who back it to me, then back it and the pickaxe out there. Okay. See, the pickaxe out there. Ah, he no there, no picture one. No, he na go come till night evening. Okay. Yes, but him just bam. Me have to say the aisle work, you know, because I hit the pay the bills. Oh wow. Yeah, that's on me. So that's good. Yeah. Okay. I hit the pay the bills now. All right. Mhm. Mm so. Right, yeah, feel love it. Give thanks. Because I hit them make it work right now. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we are gonna look for the finished product and show the people in my back the finished coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Soon forward. This now we cook up with some sausage and thing and Not you. dinner a little more. Yeah. Turn it off, turn it off now. Mm -hmm. No, this fire is too high for me now, then burn it. Okay. I'm coming out up here all the way. That does this mm. was settling at the bottom and throw it out. Right. Okay. That guy is. Mm. Right. Okay. So you done left this recycle for how long? Three days. Three days. Mm. And then when it's second, you strain off, you look like this. Like this. Perfect. Mm. 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 M
first. Okay. All right, people. So this is a bottle of the finished product. Raw cold press coconut oil made by June. All by hand. She chop out the coconut. She cut up the coconut. She sun the coconut for five, six days, maybe seven, depending upon the sun. Mm -hmm. And if rain and fall, sun. then you even take way longer. Yeah. And you sit down for hours and just press yeah. coconut oil. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And you say you, you can bark up to a hundred coconut in yeah. one sitting. Yeah. And squeeze all of that in one go. Yeah, man. And that would give you like four bottles of coconut. Four bottles of oil. Okay. All right, people. So Jamaica Uncut, Sheffield, Westmoreland, Rocky Hill, and we have to put our number down at bottom. We can link her, or you can link me direct. We know where to find her. No problem. Get your raw coconut oil if you want it cheaper for it. You know, so we figure that out as well. All right. So, June, make Respect. up yourself. Respect. One yeah, love. Man. Yeah. And thanks for showing us. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, man. Thanks for coming. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Pick up yourself and go and do it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. And then say, if you, if you love what you do, you have never worked a day in your life. You have to love it, do you know? You have to love it. Have to take patience. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. patience. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, pick up yourself. Yeah, man. Yes, man. All right. Big up Jamaica and cut. Blessed love. Alright. Thanks again. Yeah man. Right, okay. Man.